I can't tell y'all how much I enjoy doing book signings with y'all. <laughs> you never know who you're going to meet or what you're going to hear or what you're going to talk about. And I was in Nashville, Tennessee last week doing a book signing. And this sweet lady named Melissa Spencer uh, was there at my book signing. And when she came up to me, she said, Paula, we love that gooey butter cake. She said, but I, I brought you an orange cake mix. She said, because I tried this and my husband loved it. And she said, I want you to try it. So I brought you a cake mix in case you couldn't find it in your store. So I tell you what, uh, Melissa, I don't remember seeing an orange cake mix in my grocery store, but I am going to look. So uh, she said she used a recipe, of course, but I used an orange cake mix and then added two teaspoons of orange extract and the zest and juice from one small orange. Now, she didn't tell me whether she put that in the cake mix, Melissa, or in the filling. So, I, I am going to put it in the filling, I think. Um, I have loved you for years, and I claim to be your number one fan. I can't wait to visit the lady and sons when you visit Savannah again in September. So, hopefully, I'll see you. Uh-oh, here comes the big people. Did you hear me say gooey butter cakes? <laughs> no. So y'all know how it goes. We're going to start with the cake mix. One egg and one stick of melted butter. And I'm going to check and see just how flavorful the orange is. And then I may add... You know, some orange egg straight to it. But I love this because I've asked y'all over the years to come up with another flavor of gooey butter cake. So I love to hear from y'all. And I did spray my paint in a little bit. And I know you're thinking, Paul, why in the world? It's got all that butter in it. But, okay, wait, I want to taste this. got a nice orange flavor, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, take a quick break and I'm gonna go over here and look for my orange extract. Okay, we found it. So I'm gonna add one teaspoon, and I think that's how, what Melissa suggested. But the cake mix does have a nice orangey little kick to it. But we're going to kick it up a little bit more, aren't we, Melissa? Okay, here we go again. And y'all notice that I am baking this in a little smaller pan than a 13 by 9 by 2. Because I, I just want it a little thicker. So you can do it any way you want to. You can make it as thick or as thin as you want. Just remember that you'll have to adjust the, the cooking time. Back to Melissa and her orange gooey butter cake. I'm so excited about trying this. Um, I'm just gonna cream up my cream cheese real quick like. Okay, so it's good and soft. Then I'm going to add my eggs. And the filling has two eggs where the crust just has one. So this is going to help make it gooey. Now I'm going to slowly add one box of powdered sugar. You kind of have to be careful here. Don't want to wind up looking like Frosty the Snowman. I 
inside of us. Teresa just told me, y'all, that her favorite thing about watching me is trying to fit so many ingredients in one little bowl. <laughs> and I am guilty of that. All right, so I'm adding my one stick of melted butter. And slowly, slowly doing that. All right, Melissa, I got to check and see how much orange extract you said to use. Two teaspoons of Edoki. This is a half a teaspoon, so I'm going to do this four times. And then I'm going to add the juice of one small orange. Now, I have intentionally waited till last to add the zest because I frown if I add the zest and then use my beaters, a lot of my zest sticks to the beaters and I don't like that. I wanna get every bit of that zest. You can see, I wanna get every bit of it in there and not in the beaters. So I'll just fold that zest into our film. See that you'll be able to see that in the filling. And know there's some really good stuff in there. All right. Here we go. Here we go. You know, it depends on, we, we put more liquid than we normally would in this filling. So I'm gonna try it this way, Melissa. I'm gonna try it the way you did it. But after baking this, I might, might add another egg to the filling and do three eggs maybe, like I do my pumpkin grease. Okay, that looks delicious, Melissa. So this is going in the oven. The main thing about a gooey butter cake, y'all, is you don't want to overcook it. When I shake my pan, I want it to be a little gooey in the center because the recipe calls it a cake, but it's not really a cake. You want some of that gooey. So let's try them at 40 minutes, Teresa. Or 35. Let's try 35 and then we'll go from there. Yes. Thank you. Okay, Melissa. I just took our orange gooey butter cakes out of the oven. I baked this um, on about 295 or 300 in my convection oven. And you can see it still has a little movement in the center. So 45 minutes. So had I used a 13 by nine by two, I'd have probably been good at 35 minutes. And it looks beautiful, Melissa, but it's gonna be a while before I can cut it. You know what they say, Melissa, the proof is in the pudding. Now I wound up cooking this for 45 minutes because I wanted to make sure it was gooey. And that's usually what it takes, about 40 or 45 minutes for a 13 by 9 by 2 pan. So let's look and see if mine and Teresa's judgment was, <laughs> was right. Well, I would say, oh gosh, it's gooey and it's still not cool. It's not cooled all the way through. Oh gosh. I think we were right on time, Teresa. I oh, see I like them warm. 
just a little mm, bit more. Too. So that's my kind of. Mm, mm. I'm gonna put that back. Mm, mm, mm. Melissa said her husband's favorite part of the gooey is the kind of crunchy on top. I think I would have to agree, husband. This is delicious. You better get back up there. Yeah, it's going to cut perfectly when it goes just like just a few more degrees. You're going to love it. And I think you're going to love it, Eddie. If y'all don't, I love it. I don't love it at all. I've never, never met a sweet thing I didn't love. <laughs> what was that? I've never met a something sweet that I didn't love. I know it. This is delicious. And it really takes a gooey butter cake to another another lane. <laughs> so keep coming up with those ideas. And you know, I'm always going to try to send you a lot of love along with some best dishes. Thank you, girl. Mm. Hey, y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.